Lawrence Kotlikoff, economics professor at Boston University. It's a pleasure to have you with us today. It's great sir. To, to be with you and great to be in Russia. So you're the one who states that America is broke and is even in a worse state than Greece and Ireland. How so? What, what, what exactly do you mean by that? Well, we economists look at all the bills the government has to pay. And, and uh, in the U.S. case, we have enormous bills that have been kept off the books that are not official debts, but they're very real. For example, paying me my social security benefits, my old age pension, that's a real obligation. It's not part of official government debt, but it's, you know, very important because there are 78 million baby boomers who are going to get these uh, social security payments and, in addition, medical payments from the government. If you uh, look at all those payments, they're about $3 trillion a year. So we have these huge bills. Nobody has thought about paying for them. And Congress and the presidents over the years have just focused on official debt and basically have not told the public about these big bills. You said the amount of the fiscal gap in the United States is, in your estimation, $222 trillion. Is this right? It's $222 trillion if you right. take... This is like an astonishing number. It's like three times the world's GDP. This is, this is more than what the world makes. 20 times higher than the official debt uh, in the hands of the public, which is 11 trillion. So if you add all these spending obligations into the distant future and you compare them with all the taxes and you include in the spending all the uh, interest payments and principal payments on the debt, on the official debt, you have 222 trillion in present value. Now, this is 12% uh, of GDP on an ongoing basis. In other words, we need to get 12% more of GDP either in tax increases or spending cuts in order to have the fiscal gap be zero. We're doing far too little too late. It's, uh, it's like operating on a person with cancer and you say, well, there's a big tumor here. We're just going to take a little bit out today and we'll come back in, a, in five years and we'll take out some more. But maybe in five years the patient is dead because the, the tumor got bigger. So this is why we are, are, are in worse shape than Greece. And Greece, it's about 10% of GDP they need on an ongoing basis. We need 12%. Italy, it's about 5%. Germany, it's about 5%. So when you look at it from this perspective, it's a whole different story than when you look just at the official debt. Because these governments are making choices, word choices, about what to call official obligations and what to call unofficial. So are they intentionally hiding the They're enormity intentionally of the hiding problem? This. They've been spending, in our country, six decades running a massive Ponzi scheme, taking from young people, giving to old people, and then telling the young people, don't worry, you'll get yours when you're old promising pensions, promising health care benefits. And, you know, this is happening in all countries. Even Russia has a pension system. But it doesn't seem to be uh, in as bad a sh uh, shape as ours in terms of paying for its benefits in the future. But, I mean, this number, $222 trillion, I mean, who is, what exactly is this, where is this money going? Who is spending it? I mean, certainly not the average American. What is it like, the 1% of the super rich, the military needs? What is, where is it going? Where is, it, where is it all the spending? Yeah. Um, well, you have, again, a uh, very big, you've got uh, a lot of old people now. They're getting very high benefits, about $30,000 per person. It's scheduled to go up to about 40000 when I retire, which will be about 15 years. So... You can see that um, we're just very generous to the old people in our country. What do you suggest, like cut spending, raise taxes? That will be suicidal to any American president. Well, we have to uh, be adults. If we're running the country, we have to act like adults because our main responsibility as adults is to make sure our kids have a good future. So we have to reduce the growth rate of the benefits to the elderly. And that requires cutting uh, the growth, you know, being much more uh, careful about how much we spend on health care because it's been, uh, the health care benefits have been growing at twice the growth rate of per capita GDP.